Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of Teaching Tuesday, Rups and Downs Edition. Um, I'm going to keep calling them Teaching Tuesdays, but they're just really whenever I get a chance to post a video and have something to say, so who knows when they're going to post. But thank you for watching. Um, uh, if you want to comment and don't know how to do that, if you are watching on your phone and just scroll all the way past, you're going to see a whole bunch of suggested videos. If you scroll all the way past that down at the bottom, and that's where you can comment. So feel free to comment, to add to the discussion, ask questions, anything. I'd love to hear your feedback on that and, and hopefully implement it into our next video. So last video, um, speaking of that, <clears throat> I talked about how um, I had recently watched an interview with Jim Carrey and he had said, said some things that I found, uh, one, a little off the wall, but also some stuff that I could relate with. And one of those things he was talking about was this idea that uh, there is no Jim Carrey, but that there is uh, a being or ideas who portray Jim Carrey, and Jim Carrey plays characters. So basically, characters playing characters. <clears throat> and I kind of, that was very thought provoking for me. And um, I started to wonder, like, who am I as a person? What are my values? What are my thoughts? Uh, because no matter what situation I'm in, I try to adjust according to that situation and who I'm around. So uh, I can be, there's there's five or six at least Jeremy's that um, interact with people. And so I really kind of was trying to do some self an an analyzing, there we go, <laughs> no editing here, uh, of who I was or who I am. And uh, I'm still on that journey. Um, I would love to know if, if you guys ever have thought about something like this or have walked through this before or that you've never even considered it. But uh, one of the things that has been brought to the surface is that uh, for a long time uh, I lived under this impression of um, law and not Old Testament law but church law is what I'm going to call it. Uh, these expectations of how you're supposed to live and behave as a Christian and in church. And um, I, I don't know if that was anyone's fault in particular, but I, I was, I hate to use this word, but looking back, I feel like it's the best word for me to use. I was oppressed um, with these regulations, I guess. I, I don't know the best word. Um, these structures and these pressures put it on, on to me about how I should behave and how I should think and, and so forth and so forth. And um, based off of my last video, uh, because these videos get me thinking as I talk, it's kind of therapy for me too. As I was talking, I, I, I'm wrestling with these ideas and um, I think one of the first things that came to mind was in Corinthians when it says that we're a new creation. And I thought, all right, well, the old is gone and the new has come. Do I really feel like that? Do I really feel like I'm a new cre uh, creature? Some days yes, some days no. Um, but uh, the next passage that came to mind uh, was in Romans 7, where um, if you're not familiar with that, it's a great passage to look up. But uh, to summarize, Paul, the Apostle Paul is writing and saying, um, I don't do what I want to do, and I do what I don't want to do. And he, he uh, explains this wrestling with sin, and he uses uh, marriage as kind of the illustration. Um, and I won't go on to that, but uh, get a, if you get a chance, it's a, it's a great passage. Look it up. Uh, spend a few days, weeks, months <laughs> trying to chew it all. But um, he goes on, and I could relate to this struggle where it's like, oh, I want to do this, but I, I don't, and I don't want to do this, but I do, and I, I fail, and I fail, and I fail, and I fail. And even though I felt like I was saved by grace, I felt like that was much, uh, I was just kind of, whew. And uh, maybe I've talked about this in recent videos, but um, it was interesting because at the end of that passage, um, it, it kind of continues on to Romans 8. And Romans 8 is a great, great passage. Uh, but before he gets to Romans 8, he, Paul says, what a wretched man I am. Because he's struggling with this sin. Like, he just, he keeps struggling. 
And uh, Romans 8, uh, that's a, that's also a great chapter. So Romans is just a great book. If you ever get a chance, <laughs> there's just good stuff in there. Uh, but Romans 8 is, uh, therefore now, or now therefore there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And uh, I'm not going to tell you that I'm some Bible scholar, that I know what the Hebrew is or the the Latin or whatever it might be in, and, and I don't know all the details of it. Um, but to me, the way I interpret it, or at least the way I apply it to my life, is that uh, I think for a long time in my church life, in my Christian life, um, it, I've lived as Romans 7 where I struggle and I go back and forth, I go back and forth, and so I have some really good times and I have some really bad times and I go back and forth and I just don't ever feel like I'm doing enough or that I fail too much. Um, and what I am trying to get to right now is to live as a Romans 8 person, where yes, Romans 7 is true, I do struggle every day, um, but there is no condemnation in my life. Like. I think I have to start embracing the fact that Christ died for me and he took that. Like, will I get punished and, and will God discipline me? Yeah, <laughs> because he loves me. But that's what I, I think I keep forgetting is that God loves me. <laughs> and when bad things happen, I think I equate that to God's love. Um, and I've got to stop that. I, I feel like that's a lie from the enemy. And so... Um, I am now on this new journey of this new self-exploration uh, of living as a Romans 8 person uh, and nothing can separate me from God's love. That's what how Romans 8 ends. Spoiler alert. So um, this might be kind of rehashing just some stuff that I've, I've said in the past, but um, I'm discovering who I am. And I think for a long time I've lived and I've thought of myself as a failure um, in many people's eyes. And uh, that's not a pity party, it's just that I just have high expectations of myself uh, for one reason or another. I think I always have. And uh, I remember as a kid, I would just cry and cry and cry if I got like a B on a test. And, and I was just so, I just had high expectations of myself. And um, I think I have inadvertently trans Pose those. I don't know if that's the right terminology. <laughs> uh, transpose those onto God's view of me, uh, where He loved me, but He just He wasn't pleased with me, um, or or it was just like, oh goodness gracious, Jeremy messed up again. Um, but I really am starting to come around to this aspect that you know, God loves me, and uh, Jesus died for me, and uh, there's no condemnation in my life. And uh, that's a freeing thought. Uh, the sad thing is, uh, for me, it's just that I've, I've preached this, I've taught this, I, I've known it for so long. Um, you know, but God is now moving me on a journey um, to experience that. And the way he did it was by pulling me out and, and dragging me across the coals and kind of <laughs> metaphorically slapping me upside the head, I think, a little bit. Um, so part of the reason I'm doing this video is for anyone else out there who might be f experiencing or feeling what I am, but it's also something that I can look back on next month or five years from now and go, you know what? God loves you. So um, please feel free to leave a comment. If you think this is too random and, and you're like, what in the world is he talking about? Write that. <laughs> um, I try to, I do want this to be educational and informative. I try to be vulnerable in these moments, um, but I also do try to uh, convey the truth that I'm learning and to anyone who, any of you who are watching. Um, so if you do get something out of it, please feel free to let me know. If you aren't getting anything out of these videos and you're just wondering why I'm even doing them in the first place, write that. I'll try to tailor them just a little bit more and structure them I've done a whole variety of videos uh, for these Teaching Tuesdays over the last almost year now. So I'd love to just know your feedback, dialogue with you, let me know, um, and I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.